It's 8 a.m. on a Saturday morning. You know what that means? It's time for Saturday morning cereals. And as always, Saturday morning cereals is brought to you by Are You Game, the best comic book collectible sh all around junk shop in Pickle, Ohio, located at 124 North Sunset Drive, Pickle, Ohio, 45356, and the Group Therapy TV podcast. Uh, you know what? I'm still kicking on both of these things. So today we've got to change this up, man. There's no more Dungeons and Dragons, at least for right now. We'll come back and pull those uh, four more episodes later, and uh, maybe four, maybe five. I can't remember how many we're missing, uh, but we're, we'll we'll get those to you. So, all right, we're going to bring to you the last episode of Sectors, and I, I know it's. Dude, Bad. Two weeks in a row, man. Last week is Dungeons and Dragons. This week it's Sectars. You know what? Not a lot of cartoons last. There's some cartoons that just did not last in the 80s. And unfortunately, you know, Dungeons and Dragons had a, had a pretty good run. 20 some episodes. And, uh, uh, you know, Sectars only had the five. So, I'm going to let you guys have at it Sectars this week. So, here you go. The last episode of Sectars. Enjoy. Bye. The far reaches of the universe is the star planet Symbion. A perfect world until their biological experiments exploded. Creating an exotic realm beyond all belief. As mutant life forms ravaged their global paradise, a new and incredible species emerged. The Sectars. With Prince Dargon leading his warriors of the Shining Realm against the evil General Spydrax. He would destroy all to rule all. His terror troops of the Dark Domain know no mercy. The brave, the bold, and the fearless stand with Dargon. The brutal and cruel attack with Spydrax. When we last left Dargon and his sectars, they were descending Mount Sectar on their way to meet the Shadow Master in the Citadel of Shadows. They hoped the Oracle would help them get to the Hive before Spydrax, when suddenly an earthquake struck. We were lucky the snow broke our fall. I don't know how lucky we are. Three days in these forsaken mountains. I'm so hungry I could eat my boots. Forget food. We'll freeze to death before we starve. If we don't get off this mountain and beat Spydrax to the Hive, the Shining Realm is lost. The Shining Realm will never be lost. We'll eat first, then make our way to the Citadel of Shadows. Ah, fresh Ferris Tubors. I belly thanks you, young prince. I like mine. Well done. You found the Citadel of Shadows? Yes. It's on the other side of that pass. We can make it by nightfall. Mind your manners, Battle Beetle. I said... Yes. Nothing steals my food.
dinner. What else could go wrong? Who dares enter my citadel of shadows without permission? I don't need your permission. You are Spydrax of the Dark Domain. You seek the Ancient Hive. Shadow Master, then you know why I'm here. Yes, you want me to stop Dargon. What? What is that thing? Watch out, Spydrops! Don't underestimate my powers. <laughs> Your shadows don't frighten me, Shadow Master. <laughs> now, Shadow Master, you will do as I say. It's too windy to fly. Get on the ground, Dragonflyer. Place. Mantor, where's the Shadow Master? I feel his presence. And now, Shadow Master, disguise us in shadows. Move to the columns, and you will be shadows. and his maggots, but where are they? It's the magic of the Shadow Master. Spydrax and his troopers have been turned to shadows.
This was the only way I could save you from Spydrax. There is a way for you to reach the hive before Spydrax. How? You'll have to travel through the Forbidden Zone. But Shadow Master, no one has ever returned from the Forbidden Zone. There is no other way. As long as we get Spydrax, I don't care where we have to go. I have heard of the horrors of the Forbidden Zone. How bad can it be? It is 10,000 times more dangerous than your worst nightmare. We'll do what we must. For the Shining Realm. So this is the Forbidden Zone. On the other side of the Forbidden Zone is a wall of thorns. And on the other side of that wall is the ancient hive. All right, let's go. But very carefully, remember, the Forbidden Zone is an endless nightmare.
We've done it! By Symbion, we have done it! Look, laddie, look! It's the Great Hive! I knew we'd make it. All the knowledge of the ancients waits in that place. And so does Spiderlix. How do we get in there? Right through that front gate. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's ride for the Shining Realm! Dargon, the hive is mine! Form a skirmish line!
He kept Spydrax from the hive and saved Symbion. We have given everything, and now the hive is gone. The hive of the ancients is not gone. It can never be destroyed. out for haunted humans. Wanted, Granny Gross. She's no sweet old lady. Wanted, Tombstone Tackle. He's no hero. Wanted, Ex-Cop. He's not on your side. To catch these ghosts, you need the real Ghostbusters. There's Peter, Egon, Winston, Ray. Each sold separately. They're running out fast. Shifting into gear. Mask. Tracker seen us. Don't race off on my account, Mayhem. Mask, Buzzard and Delight. Each sold separately with two figures. Buzzard, convert. Wrong. You flag cover. I'm heading upstairs, Nevada. Roger, Matt. Okay, Mayhem. This round's for you. Mask, <laughs> where illusion <laughs> is the ultimate weapon. Mask, Goliath, and Buzzard each sold separately. New from Kenner. All right. You know what? This week's episode is Inhumanoids, The Evil Within Part 4. Um, this is back when it was shown in segments, the little tiny segments. So they re-edited it to re-air later in the half hour segments. Um, I like sec I like Inhumanoids. I think they had some really cool toys. Uh, they had the, the three villains, which are awesome. They're literally like that tall. I'm always on the lookout for those. I'm trying to I'm trying to get those in my personal collection, so we can see them back here in the toys. Um, the other one is is that the, the rock creatures were pretty cool. The trees were eh, okay, I, but I like the 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 actual action figures. Earthcore. I mean, you had Liquidator who squirted water, and that's the one I had. I had Liquidator. He could squirt water. He squeezed him. He fill his back full of water and squirt across the room. It auger had the auger bit and stuff like that. But they had some really cool toys. So hopefully, maybe soon, I will have some uh, Inhumanoid toys out here that you guys can take and check out. So, uh, I'm going to let you guys have at it and enjoy this week's episode of Inhumanoids, The Evil That Lies Within Part.
flimsy construction. <laughs> to us, everything is flimsy construction. I guess you've got a point. <laughs> Good fighting, flesh slug, uh, human. Just call me Herc. Well, I'd say we powdered them good. Come on, we're almost there. Don't stop now, Herc. Oh, we'll miss our assignation with eternity. What do you mean, Tendril? You failed to obtain the Flesh Sun's primal energy! Without that energy, my statue warriors will not be at full strength! Decompose, what are you? <coughs> what is your wish? I wish nothing! I demand that you succeed where our Tao witted friend failed! <sighs> Go to the surface, and do not return without the energy I require! I will not fail. Failure is not a word I understand! It would be foolish for the Inhumanoids to attack again. But according to the human, Dr. Bright, Metwar will stop at nothing to obtain the power he needs. Help the bone jobs after us! Emergency! Emergency! Right here, Redson. Describe the emergency. Come in, come in! What's happening?
Let's get out of this coffin. Oh, we're here. The elemental core of the Earth. You have seen one elemental core, you've seen them all. Help me! Who was that? Activate your optical filters. It's Magna Core! Breathe me! Let's get to it. This is what we came here for. For extinction, flesh slugs. The hour will to survive is most unique among lower animals. You're right. We would make most fascinating subjects for study. <laughs> Perhaps were it another time. Fear not, your end shall be painless. <laughs> Well, I knew you'd change your mind. He didn't change his mind, Augur. He just stopped. How ironic it is that a mere magnet, most often used to hold notes on refrigerators, paralyzes the most powerful monster on the planet. Blackthorn Shore. Well, sure. You're at the center of the Earth. How can you slink any lower? One should be more polite when addressing those who hold their lives in their hands. Skellweb was built long ago by flesh slugs, humans, who fell under the cruel lash of Decompose. Keep your eyes peeled. Decompose could strike at us from anywhere.
I just had a bad dream. It... It wasn't a dream, was it? No. But it's over now, Sandra. Let's go. Herc, there are some things I have to tell you. Are you sure they're the same statues? Well, to tell you the truth, they do seem somehow changed. Almost as if they is about to... Charge! There's too many of them! There's no way out! They do seem somehow changed, almost as if they was about to charge! There's too many of them! Do something! Darn Yankees! What do you mean, darn Yankees? Trust them rebels to mess up a good alliance! Charge! Charge! If we just stay out of the middle, we'll be fine! No two ways about it! After this, I'm gonna need a long vacation! Does it make you uneasy to know that all I have to do is turn off my magnet and he will throw you into the earth's core? Imagine what he'd do to you! I heard that there might be an opportunity here. Took you long enough to figure that out. He'll never get the chance! I've studied the inhuman eyes! I know their weaknesses! Observe! A slight shift in the magnetic field and... I move him like a puppet! What do you have to do to make him stop you? Pyre, reverse polarities on the next surge. Yes, and magnetize your mouth shut so that I can concentrate. Now, all you have to do, Earth Core, is pledge allegiance to me! Well, you gotta hand it to him. This guy's funny. Now, tell me how it feels to have your suit squeezed like toothpaste tubes. <laughs> You're insane, Blackthorn! Oh, my rivets are snapping! Now, reverse polarity! Reverse again! Reverse! 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 Repel! Choose your death, flesh slug! <laughs> The chains! Switch polarities! <laughs> All my opponents should be so stupid. Creatures, divide and repel! Join forces! It's a lava tunnel! How far does it go? Very near to the roof of the world! This is what I call door-to-door -door service! Amazing what you find in the muck nowadays. Mettler! You were a fool to save me! Because you will never again be free of my grasp! <laughs> it appears that you have come upon some difficulties, fresh slug. Suppose you were to wriggle free, where would you go? Return to the other flesh slugs who despise you? No, human. 
Your future is with us. This is the human's energy source. Good friends, meet our newest ally. He is going to tell us where the flesh slugs keep the ultimate primal energy. <laughs> of course, Master! I don't think it'll keep the rain out, but it's good for a start. Why would one want to keep rain out? Obvious, Redlin. So they do not corrode. Any sign of auger and liquidator yet? No, not... Magna Core! Mark! Sandra! Great to see you! But your timing could have been better. We have reported this slight tremor, comrades. Please investigate. We felt a slight tremor here, comrade. <laughs> it was probably just me shivering. We have observed an underwater object. Shall we identify or launch depth charge? Launch the depth charge, of course! Kenner's Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back Collection. Millennium Falcon that you put together. Batteries not included. Nice landing, Han Solo. Uh-oh, come on, Chewbacca. Stormtroopers are coming. Action figures each sold separately. Got them on radar. I'll fire the laser cannon. There's even a hidden storage hatch. Ready for takeoff. Jump to light speed. We're gone. On to the Death Star. Millennium Falcon from Kenner's Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back Collection. Action figures each sold separately. Here's the Star Wars X-Wing Fighter and the Star Wars TIE Fighter. Spaceships and Luke Skywalker sold separately. Batteries not included. I'll get you this time, Luke. Reactivate X-Wing. Both with flashing lights and sound. Ahead, hey, there go the solar panels. And Darth Vader got away. Force is with me. Luke Skywalker wins again. Kenner's Star Wars X-Wing Fighter, TIE Fighter and action figures all sold separately. 
that look so golden holds up to 40 Star Wars action figures like new Squidhead and Emperor's Royal Guard, each sold separately. And besides the new C-3PO collector's case, there's a new Chewbacca bandolier strap, which over your shoulder for play and holds 10 action figures securely, like new Princess Leia Organic and Reese, each sold separately. It even has pouches. New C-3PO collector's case, Chewbacca bandolier strap, and action figures, each sold separately from Kenner's Star Wars Return of the Jedi collection. Hey. No, no, no. Right there. Right. Boom. Sectors Comics from Marvel. Also, Captain America and the Serpent Society. I know that was a placeholder at one point for uh, Captain America that ended up being Civil War, but man, it would have been awesome to get the Serpent Society. All right. We're going to go bring you the next episode of The Biscuits. Like I said, we're going back and forth. We're going to do uh, Paw Paws and we're going to do Biscuits. I didn't think, never in a million years did I think there'd be this big of a thing. People were, have talked to me on, on in the comments. People have literally come in my shop and talked to me about it. There are people who think the Biscuits is far better cartoon than Paw Patrol. And then you got the other people who think Paw Patrol is better, or er, Paw Patrol. Ooh, wow, wow. Uh, that's what happens when you get Vince hanging out with me. And I, I get, uh, you know, watching little kids cartoons. Paw Paws, not Paw Patrol, sorry, think that the Paw Paws are better than the Biscuits. You got the Biscuits better than the Paw Paws. So, I'm letting you guys decide. I probably lean a little more towards the Biscuits, but I actually enjoy both of them. I mean, even though the, the in the last episode, if you listen, that Paw Paws were voted one of the worst cartoons that should never be re revisited. So... But Biscuits isn't. Biscuits is uh, the little, little dogs. I wish we would have got, you know, that, that's been great little toys for kids. So, all right, guys, here you go. This week's episode of The Biscuits. Hidden deep in a swamp lies Tiny Biscuit Castle. Home of the smallest dogs in the world, The Biscuits. <laughs> For years, kings have entrusted their royal treasure to these pups. Now, from a nearby castle, rules the wasteful King Max. Shake it! We must find the royal treasure! What? <laughs> Shake it! Oh, yes, sire! everybody no use guys my tummy tells me it's lunchtime and you're all invited <laughs> hurry Bob pull <laughs> not so fast there gotcha Wags, Bob, somebody help hmm. you're not much but maybe as a between meal snack I'm sweet then I'll have you for dessert what do we do? It looks like it's out of our paws now, Scat. <laughs> what? Hey. Out of our paws and into that buzzard's claws. Oh, no. Come on, guys. Follow me. Bring back that biscuit. Bring back all those biscuits. Sweet. Hey, bring them back. What's a big idea, bird brain? <laughs> Oh, what a menu! <laughs> Biscuits and turtle soup! Look! There's another feather! Sweets is sure using her head. Those feathers will lead us right to her. Yeah, but where's that? We've never been this far down river before. And there's the reason why! Abandoned turtle! Here you are! 
you go, Snapper! Catch! I hope they don't get wet. Ooh, I hate soggy biscuits. Well, well, well. Here's another fine mess you've gotten us into. Where can sweets be? Buzzards build their nests in the highest places they can find. And the highest place around here, it seems, is Dragonhead Rock. Good thinking, Spinner. Let's go. Yeah, there they go. Now I can trail them. Turn off the water! Help! That's a biscuit trail if I ever smelled one. Tree. It's not safe here. Hang on! Whoa! Sweets had better appreciate this. Now, what kind of an attitude is that? She's a friend. Hey, it's a dog eat dog swamp. Come on, I think the worst is behind us. Whoa! Wrong, Wag. It's in front of us. I don't suppose you could just drop me off at Biscuit Island. Biscuit Island? Never heard of it. But there's Whisker Tree. Just in time, too. Looks like a storm's coming up. Wake up, Boots. I brought a guest. This is sweet. She's a biscuit. <sighs> Pleased to meet you. Don't mind him. He catnaps all day, so he'll have enough energy to go to bed at night. <laughs> Yow! A dog! Sweets, meet Scaredy Cat. Oh, let me go! Let me go! Don't hurt me! <laughs> What's I so frightened of? Oh, the usual. Everything. I see we have a visitor. I rescued her from a buzzard, Pandora. Her name's Sweets. She's a biscuit. She's a dog. A little French poodle? No, too scruffy. Don't be catty, Minx. Hi there. They call me Jinx. Jinx, if it weren't for bad luck, you wouldn't have any luck at all. What's that, Pandora? My cat's eye marble. It tells me things. Oh, like Spinner's book? What is a Spinner? I see. I see other biscuits searching for you. There is danger. What kind of danger? Talon. Talon. <laughs> Who or what is a Talon? Believe me, you don't want to know. No sign of sweets. My, my, this has been a day of trouble. Oh, what can possibly happen next? Whatever it is, it's bound to be bad. Oh, boy, sweets is gone and we're lost in the rain. Not bad for a day's work, Wags. Oh, muzzle up, Shiner. Hey, how about that? It stopped raining, but only on me. Whoa, hell! Oh, what's wrong, Downer? It, it, it was a rat. It, it, it was a rat. It was a, it was a rat. Give me a break, Downer. How big can a rat be? I mean, I mean, the day I run from a rat. <sighs> yes, my little tidbit. Here's today. Move out, biscuits. Are. They're as hard to catch as whiskers. Shiner! Sweets! Well, I saved you! And you brought Talon with you! Uh, yeah, uh. So that's Talon, the most frightening creature in the swamp. We always have to be on guard. 
Just like a certain wildcat we know. This rain's gonna wash out these biscuit tracks before I can find those poochies. Aha! It's Scratch! Oh, the ever find is here! Oh, no! What do we do now? Oh, this is horrible! He'll get us all! He's got minks! Gotcha now, you puny pups! Hey! You're not a puny pup! What are you? I'm a whisker! Let me go! You heard the Lady Scratch drop her! Hey! My hero! You are the brave, strong biscuit, no? Uh, uh, who? Me? I think you are the cat meow, Sherry. If only there was some way to force them out of that tree. Well, 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 this might do the trick. <laughs> we sure took care of him. You don't know Scratch, Pandora. He's one determined cat. So am I, Skinner. Pandora, something's burning. It's us! Yeah! Fire! The, 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 the tree's on fire! Oh. Oh, I should have seen this coming. What a cat after me! Well, what do we do, Mouser? Only one thing we can do! Abandon tree! Follow us, Biscuit! Do as Mouser does! Don't let the fall scare you, scary cat. It isn't the fall that scares me. It's the s s sudden stop. Whoa! Hmm, a feast is heading my way. Here, kitty, kitty. Hey! Hey, you can't leave me here. Yeah! If it works for them. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yum! It's raining cats and dogs. Yeah, 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 yeah. A wild cat! Right! And the only thing this wild cat likes better than little doggies <laughs> is big mouthies! Yeah! 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 That should take care of Talon for a while. And Scratch. But your tree is still on fire. Whisker tree! Come on, we can save it! Okay, Tiger. This end goes into the stream. Excitement too much for you, Boots? Why don't you move away from that leak, Jinx? It wouldn't help. Watch! I see what you mean. Yay! That was a close shave, Whiskers. We couldn't have done it without your help, guys. You're welcome at this end of the swamp anytime. We'd better try and find our way home while there's still light. Hey, we're scared. And where's Minx? Ooh, that way. I don't believe it. <laughs> How you doing, little buddy? Everything's just perfect. <laughs> yourself castle repair brighten my day shaggy tell me a joke sure uh well sire did you hear the one about the whoops better get that it might be the doorbell i want to tell you hi one <laughs> kingdom to kingdom peddler sorry we already have all the junk we can use and one too many jesters. What's your highness's pleasure? Antique armor? No! Previously owned plates? No! Don't you have anything new like a, a, a biscuit princess? Oh, yes! A novelty item, your highness. Captured her a few days ago in a neighboring kingdom. Oh, dear. I'll never see home again. Well, she might be of some value to me. <laughs> uh, how much, peddler? But, sire, she won't know where the treasure is. <laughs> Will you take a slightly used court jester in trade? You mean me, sire? Whom else? Move your tail there, Wags. We've got a lot of laundry to do today. You mean you've got a lot of laundry to do? This washboard is ruining my nails. 
Don't work too hard down there, Downer. That's very easy for you to say. Oh, I'm not afraid of hard work. I uh, just as long as someone else is doing it. <laughs> yeah, like me. Hey! Whoa! That's Shiner. What energy? Help! Help! A biscuit overboard! Like yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, I'm fine. No thanks to any of you. Hey, there's something inside this bottle. Hey, let's take a look. Whoa! Gotcha. Look, everybody. I know. Won't someone help me? I'm being held prisoner in King Max's highest tower. Please rescue me. Signed, a biscuit princess. A biscuit princess? She must be from one of the other islands in the swamp. Whoa, whoa! Let's get going, right? We're gonna rescue her. Look out, King Max! Here we come! Let's, Let's go! Let's go! go. Oh, yeah! Equipment! Supplies! And ladders! Food! She means, aren't you forgetting us girls? That's right. Whenever a bisque gets in trouble, we all pitch in. But rescuing is hard work. Yeah, it takes a cool head and lightning reflexes, not to mention bravery. In other words, it's, it's guys' work. work. Right, and we're gonna do it! Look out, Max! Hello, Princess! Come on, guys! <laughs> we got to go! Uh, is this enough, sire? I put a note in every spare bottle I could find. We'll know it's enough when those unsuspecting little furballs show up at the castle. <laughs> right, princess? You're using me to lure other biscuits into a trap? You beast, that's not fair. Oh, thank you. I'd hate to spoil my otherwise perfect record. Come, Shecky, we've got to get the castle ready for our fuzzy little guests. I'll be right there, sire. <laughs> okay, guys, let's move out. We're off to save the princess. There go six brave biscuits. I better make that five brave biscuits and one plucked chicken. Wait, wait, you forgot the... Later, Wiggle, we've got a rescue to make. Yeah, guys work. Yeah, but wouldn't it be easier if you had the... <gasps> the key. Yeah, it was sort of stuck on the bottom. King Max's tower. Wow, she even sent along the key to herself. She must be some kind of princess. And I think I know just what kind. Come on, girls, we've got work to do. Everything's in readiness, sire. The drawbridge is down, the moat monster's locked up, the welcoming sign is in place. Those little biscuit brains won't suspect a thing. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Right, faithful Shaggy. Ah. All we need now is silence. With any luck, those mini mutts are already on their way. Shiner's here. Let the rescue begin. Put a leash on it, Shiner. First, we've got to find the princess. There she is. The, the princess. princess. Come on. Look, the drawbridge is down. Out to lunch, back in one hour. Yours truly, the Moat Monster. The place looks deserted. Ha <laughs> ha! This'll be like taking bones from a puppy. I just know something is going to happen. Are you guys biscuits or frady cats? Come on, who's with Shiner? On with us, Hold on, guys. For once, Downer may be right. This rescue is looking a little... Rescue! Oh, rescue. Oh, rescue. Oh, oh, too easy. Come on, Wags. This wouldn't be a rescue without you to lead us. I wonder which way to the tower. Gee, thanks. Hmm, something funny's going on. Hey, wait a minute. King Max! You'll never get away with this. Well, <laughs> it looks like I already have. <laughs> now what? It looks like this rescue just came to a dead end. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, lucky I'm here to lead you. Uh, follow me. The, the princess. princess. The biscuits. Thank goodness. Oh, uh, no 
need to thank me now, Princess. The only thanks you'll get is from King Max. Yeah! Oh, yeah! Yeah! Got you this time, you fugitive furballs. Oh, nice work, Shaggy. But a change. I'll try to take that as a compliment, sire. Force yourself. We've been tricked. This is all your fault, Wags. Look, the guys left their rescue gear. And the drawbridge is up. Wait, look. Maybe we still have a chance. Come on. Check air, lower the drawbridge. Check air, give the moat monster a bat. Check air, bring in the sign. <laughs> a jester's work is never done. Lucky for us. Checky do this. Checky do that. You let me and my friends out of here, you creepy king, or, or you'll regret it. You tell him, princess. Now I'll tell you something. Yikes! You've got exactly ten minutes to tell me where the treasure is hidden, or it's bye-bye biscuits. That's not enough to scare us into talking, King Max. It sounds like more than enough to me. It's... Remember, ten minutes. Sorry you got caught like this, guys. I feel terrible about it. You're not alone, Princess. Well, if anyone had mentioned mountain climbing before we left, I would have dressed for the occasion. A pair of cute little boots, some hiking shorts, a new collar, maybe a belt. Uh, and maybe a safety net. The guys must be in there. Okay, forget it, girls. I've had enough climbing for one day. Come on, lady. There's an easier way. Oh, how do I get talked into these situations? Come, Shaggy. Let's check on our little guests. I guess that's how. Look, up there. Sweet. Wiggle, up here. Lady, help. Just in time, up here. Come on, oh, yeah. the king. So, there really is a princess. Can you get us down? Let's swing it, girls. Whee! Hurry, everybody. They should be ready to talk now, Shaggy. Okay, Bump, you know what to do. Right, Wags. Help. <laughs> The treasure will be mine! Hang on! If you give us directions, Princess, we'll fly you home. Oh, no, no! Grab them, check air! Right, sire! Only one direction, Wags! Hurry! Stop! Stop! <laughs> good news and bad news, sire. Uh, the good news is we're safe. We will. What's the bad news? We won't be for long. This is all your fault, Shaggy. I'll get you for this. Unless the moat monster beats you to it, sire. <laughs> My castle isn't far now. Thanks for rescuing me, Biscuits. Oh, always glad to lend a helping paw to a fellow Biscuit. Well, especially when that Biscuit turns out to be a princess. Huh? Whoa! Uh, isn't that right, girls? Right, Shiner! Now you can imagine all the power in the universe. The Masters of the Universe Collection. 23 pieces, each sold separately. There's He-Man and these heroic action figures. Skeletor and the Warriors of Evil. And four fighting creatures. Castle Grayskull, Point Dread and the Talon Fighter. You put them together. And battle machines like the Attack Track. Batteries not included. What would you do with all the power in the universe? Oh. He-Man, Skeletor, and all other items from the Masters of the Universe Collection. Each sold separately. From Mattel. Robots, and you control their every move. Behold, I pour. Copter. Turbo. And side kill. The Gobot invasion has begun. Go 
robot from Tonga. Hey, hope you enjoyed this week's episode of the Biscuits. If you're a pop pawpaw fan, then you probably didn't enjoy the biscuits. So, next week we'll bring some pawpaws. Alright, the next thing we're going to show this week is robotics. Um, this is going to be weird because I'm going to have to show this in three segments. Um, uh, robotics was aired on uh, the Marvel Action Hour. So, it was in segments. They did like the, the you know, G.I. Joe did Transformers where you got all of them, you know, they put together one movie, but they have, you know, segments. They did that exact same thing with robotics. Uh, unfortunately, I only found robotics in the, like, hour and a half long movie. So, which is all robotics. So, <laughs> like sectars and stuff like that, you're only going to get a limited amount of robotics. Um, the funny thing about robotics is, is it's an 80s toy line. That is still going strong to this day, but not in the original format that it was back in the day. Um, basically, it's become an educational toy, um, which I loved it. I thought it was an educational toy. You know, they just tried to make action figures and educational toys one thing because uh, you had the interchangeable parts. You could build it. You put the little motors on it. You controlled it with the little keyboard and you had to pilot and stuff like that. And yes, it was based on like Argus and stuff like that, the characters from the cartoon. Um, but now they've got robotics, which basically takes the sci-fi element out of it and it just embraces the educational element of it. Uh, they've never stopped producing. They've just changed uh, licensee hands. So people, different people have owned the I, different IPs. So I want you guys to hang back and enjoy this week's episode of Robotics. And uh, this might only be three parts because I'm going to edit it a little differently. So I hope you guys enjoy robotics. To survive a cosmic storm that devastates their planet, the Protectons and Terracors are forced to transfer their essences into the huge, powerful bodies of robotics. Robotics! And once again, the ancient hostilities between the valiant Protectons and the evil Terracors erupt into violence, each side made stronger by an organic interface with human beings. Who puts the future in your hands? Robotics! Robotics! robotics. Hang on, guys. Have one more trick up my sleeve. It's too late, Exeter. Thanks to you, we're dead meat now. Canock, stop your knees knocking so I can hear myself think. Yeah, get off his case, Canock. He saved your neck a million times. And he's gonna do it this time, too. Thanks for the vote of confidence, Zaru. I just hope you're right. Our instruments indicate a total loss of power. I suggest we prepare for severe impact. <laughs> nice going, Commander X. That battle cruiser left us for dead. And from the looks of this place, I can see why. What are those things? Fender Arcus! Or you will never survive! I will never surrender to you, Nemesis! Jerak, stand still so I can fuse you to the ground! Tyrannix! You couldn't hit the broad side of a planet! What's the matter, Stegor? Lose your taste for battle? No, Grant. I've gained a taste for steel!
<laughs> Nora scared of ghoul. In a word, no. Uh. Brand! Thanks for uh, lending me a hand. <laughs> Until Computer is mine! Uh, hi! I'm Exeter Galaxon. We just had a little problem with our ship. We'll, uh, be on our way as soon as possible. Honest. For the sake of your own safety, that would be wise. Perhaps we can help you with your repairs. Well, sure. That, that'd be swell. All right! Get it. This ship is totally useless. It'll never fly again. Don't be so certain. Oh, what's the matter, Jarrock? Is that tiny rock too big for you? Rock? I thought your brain fell out. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. What's happening? I don't know, but it sure is neat. Let's try this one. Hey. How the heck is she doing that? Figure it out later, Brunt. We've got Terragors, get on someone! Stand here. In stand. Nera, behind you. Bronze, bronze, come back. He's a coward, Argus! Like all new weak spirited protectrons! And the fate of all cowards is death! Exeter, get in my control console! Why? Together, maybe we can save my friends! If I get us mixed up in this, it'll be my people whose lives are on the line! Exeter, think. We are alone in a hostile environment. Our interdependence with those who inhabit this planet has already been established. You mean we need them as much as they need us? Precisely. <sighs> Toron, one of these days your logic is gonna get me killed. Here goes nothing. Well, three's my lucky number. Perhaps I can assist you! Ah, let them fend for themselves. What is Galar's name is that? 
It's blonde! Argus, prepare to interface. Okay, Brant, let's nail him! Surprise! Tyrannics! Those warm-blooded creatures enabled the Protectors to defeat us! Then our next course of action is crystal clear. Well, now that we've got five seconds to breathe, maybe you could tell us what in blazes is going on here. Very well. Come. Ugly-looking bunch of lizards. Who are they? They are us. At least, they are what we used to be. What? This is CompuCore, the central intelligence of our planet. And this is what our planet looked like three million years ago. There were two civilizations on Skelor. The Protectons and the Terracors. We Protectons wished only for peace. But always, at every turn, the Terracors thirsted only for war. Finally, they built the ultimate weapon, the Terra Star. With it, Nemesis hoped to destroy the Protectons and conquer our galaxy. But to launch it, he would need CompuCore. That ship could be our ticket off this dead-end planet. Behold, Xanadon, our capital city. Argus, troop movements on the upper ridge. Brunt, Jerok, prepare the city for battle mode. We're with you, Argus. Come on, Brunt. Even a pipsqueak like you can help. Ah, oh, stow it, Jerok. Just do what Argus says. At last, CompuCore will be mine! You fools! Come back and fight! Execution awaits all deserters! You won't stop me, Argus! This I vow! But the problems of our planet were far greater than the conflict between the Protectons and the Terracors. The star will go Nova in less than two weeks. All life on the surface of Skalor will be destroyed. The end is near. Order! Please, order! We must work together! Protectons and Terracors, side by side! The Terra Star is complete, but I will need CompuCore to launch it. Clearly, we must transport the Council to another planet. That's insane! Only a few hundred would survive! Millions would perish! So what? They're genetically inferior anyway! I move we put it to a Council vote! No. CompuCore, is there an alternative? Stasis tubes would provide for the survival of the entire populace. A vote then! Who favors Nemesis' plan? And who wishes to save all lives? <laughs> fools! Fools! Can't you see your time is up? You're all doomed!
these robotics, we will someday rebuild Skelor. If we survive long enough to use them. <laughs> Do you take me for a fool? You go first. Do you take me for an idiot? You could disconnect my stasis tube just as easily as I could yours. You go first. Together, then. But the unexpected forced CompuCore to take emergency action. Radiation levels lethal. Essence transfer to CompuCore commencing. Normal. Essence transferred to robotics. Commencing. What? What has, has happened to me? I have become a robotics! No! <laughs> See what your plan has accomplished? Now it's my turn. Compucar is mine. Not while I live. I find your terms agreeable. <laughs> Yeah, every crazy minute of it. This was a fine place to live, once. Well, I wouldn't give you two Ulfirian red cents for it now. Quit your carping and help us look for ship parts. And we'd better hurry. My tests indicate vegetation on Scalor is poisonous to humans. Which means the food we brought with us is all we're gonna get. I propose an alliance. At least until your ship is repaired. Forget it. You'll never fix that clunker. Besides, why should we help the Protectons? They saved our lives, Canock. So what? We saved theirs, too. This is all very touching. I suggest we oil their knee joints and move on. It's worse than I thought. There's only enough food for a few days. We'll have to ration it. Then what? Starve while you try to repair this hopeless wreck? Forget that! I'm going to find the Terra Star, a real way off this junk pile planet. Who's with me? I'll come along. Staying with Exeter's misguided troops would be an exercise in futility. Uh, count me in, Canock. Traxxas? Uh, uh, don't think so. All right. You want to leave? Leave! I'll divide up the food. These traitors can eat dirt for all I care. We've already taken our share. So long, Commander. Stick on, look! Ah, just the ones we've been looking for. You've been seeking us? Yeah, we've come to offer our services. 
Damn immortal! What have you to gain? We want off this planet. And stop poking me with that thing! You are giving me orders! You need us, Nemesis. You've seen what can happen with a human at your controls. Can you be trusted? Can you? On second sight, maybe you could be useful. Too bad there are only enough spare parts here to make one robotics. Once we reach Xanadon, we shall be able to build more and free our people still within Capricorn. We've got a front row seat. Perfect. What are you doing now? Observe. Protecton Essence 60329, Contour, is in the pre-transfer area. Should I release, or should I erase? Release the Essence! Where am I? Who are all of you? Old friends, Contour. I am Argus. This is Nara, Brant, and Jerak. But that's impossible! What on Stellar is that? Danger above. Terracor's at the entrance. Brant, Jerak, Nara! We must protect the chamber from their assault! Praxis, bring Contour up to date and keep an eye on Zaru. Always at your service, Commander! Transfer area. Should I release or erase? Release him! That's not good enough, Brunt! Try this son for size, Nora! Try this! Oh, that's more like it! They're retreating? After them! Wait, Brunt! This was all too easy. Way too easy. Exactly. It's as if they were trying to lure us away. From CompuCore. Welcome, Venturak. You have awakened just in time to help us seize CompuCore. The Protectons are returning! Can't I even count on Stegor and Ghoul to keep our foes at bay? We will have to leave Traxxas and Venturek here to await a new opportunity to take CompuCore. 
All you have to do is pretend to be Contour. Argus will see right through me. Relax. Argus will never suspect the trusted Contour. You all right, Saru? I... I think so. The Terracors just left. They were trying to steal CompuCore. But Traxxas and I fought them off. Ugh, my head hurts, and I'm hungry. Sorry, Zaru. You'll have to wait till the next rationing. Our food supply's much too low. I'm getting a message from Venturac. The human's food supply is much too low. Let's steal every last crumb they have, and then watch them starve. Hey, Spiro, it's getting scary down here. Stop being so nervous, Flexor. Nemesis is after CompuCore, not our spaceship. You're perfectly safe. Ah! Oh, no! Not the food! The Sword of Omens, safe in the hands of Lion-O, Lord of the Thundercats, fighting to keep it from Mumra, whose wicked eyes light up with a secret ring. Thundercats take to the Thunder Tank, transforming to resist the evil mutants. <laughs> Who will win, good or evil? Now you can decide. Thundercats by Rainbow Toys. The Transformers, more than meets the eye. Power Zenkai, Cybertron, Sushiekum, Convoy, Hashim. Kimi no shiranai chou robot battle. Ima hajimaru. Sakusen wo shiki suru no wa kimi da. Ganbare konbai, megato no taoste, makeru mono da. Tatakai, chou robot seimei tai, Transformer. It's the new wacky action wind-up turtles! Who you calling wacky? How about Ray Fighting Raphael, who spins to attack with foot stars and Ratola? That's not wacky. Well, what about sewer swimming Donatello, who gets into the swim with Spear and Scuba Jet? Or rock and roll Michelangelo with spinning action arm and weapons? Well, now we're talking wacky! No, we're talking trouble! Because here comes the Foot Clan's mouser, stomping and chopping! Why don't this be? From Playmate! Why we never got a ROM cartoon or anything from ROM outside of the comic book series and the one toy in the 80s. Uh, I freaking love ROM. But I hope you guys enjoyed Robotics. Um, Robotics got a brief Marvel Comics appearance. I think they did one issue. Um, yet again, it's one of the cartoons that just, and toy lines that just, did not go anywhere. Um, unfortunately, I think it really could. So, but here you go. Man, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, next thing we're going to show is Bigfoot and the Muscle Machines. Uh, Bigfoot and the Muscle Machines, yet again, was one of the cartoons that was in segments. They were like in, uh, I think it was Gem in Humanoids and Bigfoot and the Muscle Machines. So you got like little six minute segments or, or seven minute segments. So, I'm going to edit this down because I was able to get it. It's about an hour long movie, so we're going to get it in two parts. And yet again, I, I keep doing this to you guys. I keep showing you cartoons that there's only a, v a very small window of opportunity to watch these. So you got, you know, I think it was over a full season, but you got little segments. So, and it didn't get picked up like Gem and Inhumanoids did. So, all right, I'm going to let you guys have it. And I'm going to let you guys watch Bigfoot and the Muscle Machines. And enjoy. Later. He's tough, big foot, and the muscle machines. They're big, bad, dirty, and mean. So old man, if you get in a fight, he'll come to the rescue with all of his might. Big foot, when you need him, you know he's around. Big foot, he'll crush him.
Wow! Amazing! It's okay. Nail her before she gets to the stadium. And now, what you've all been waiting for... for a used car. At Ravenscroft Used Cars, you get what you pay for and more. Take it from me, Blackie Smith. They'll treat you right. Here comes the Orange Blossom Special, driven by Professor D with his pet armadillo, Dilly. He really was a professor until he got caught up in the exciting world of truck pulling. a full-blown, roll-ripping, fire-spitting puller with drivers to match. Their names are Red and Redder. And wait till you see these wild-eyed, red-headed twins. Would you stop hamming it up? security guys will sort it out. Uh, we seem to be straying from the point. I think that young woman was in trouble. Hey! Let's run! Let's do it, Bigfoot. One resource I have in short supply. Get the map and destroy the truck. Y yes, sir. I'd still love to know who those guys were. Woo! 
everybody okay? Everything except my blood pressure. Let's jaw about it on the road, or we'll miss the show in Vegas. Talk about runaway forestry. It was no accident as far as I can tell. It is my experience that there is a motive for every crime. But frankly, I can't think of one. Maybe it had something to do with that weirdness last night. Or with that girl. <laughs> First time he ever noticed a girl. something on our tail. Step on it and try to keep ahead of them. Things have definitely taken a turn for the worse. Form a line and don't let them buy us. Get my compact out of my purse. This is a fine time to think about your face. Just do it! You're not as dumb as I thought. Mama ever tell you hitchhiking was dangerous? <laughs> They're going for our tires! Watch this! Are you crazy? No! Just vicious! two ways about it somebody doesn't like us i've got an idea why don't we talk about it over a blowtorch looks like you folks ran into some problems up there in the mountains yeah it was an unscheduled demolition derby you know i'll bet those guys were after something like what sherlock Maybe me. You know, Red was right. Those guys were after something. Like what? I haven't figured that part out.
Golf Garage, yo next some way fix them. Do we have them where we want them? You better believe it, partner. Say for the wrecking truck. Curious? That was the symbol of the biker's war. Whoever's after us sure has a lot of money. Yeah, this last stunt cost them a wrecking machine. And me, a garage. Say, if you don't mind traveling, we can use a good mechanic. That's right kindly of you. I need the work. Well, where you going to? The next show's in Las Vegas. Well, then, you got the right guy, because I just happen to know a real good route there. Activated the signal. Ready the intercept. You uh, want a soda? Yeah, sure. You don't need to shake it up, partner. What the? What's that all about? Choice, pal. You can either talk or walk. And in the seat. Today's news. You washed up. Finished your history. Grave Roller's hot now. I'm doing you a favor keeping you on the bill. Look, I don't know what your scam is, and I don't care, but I want a one-on-one -on -one with Grave Roller. Hey, anything you say. <laughs> yeah, boss. There's a sucker born every second. He took the hook like a... Spare me the colorful analogy, my friend. And bet heavily on Grave Roller, for if he wins, you'll be rich. But if he loses, money will be the least of your concerns. Yes, friends, this is it. Bigfoot versus Grave Roller. The winner gets both trucks. The loser takes a bath. That truck looks pretty tough. 
Don't do it, Yank. Anybody else got any words of encouragement? Or should I just get on with it? What's this? On your marks! Get set! Go! or munch knuckles, which is it? Stop her! I don't want to see you again! want with this I am not obliged to tell you anything great tell it to the cops you'll have plenty of time Grand Theft Auto goes for three to ten years the map is mine some men were trying to steal it I hid it here during the show in Seattle is that enough <clears throat> didn't mean to disturb you Yank I thought you might be in trouble you're not disturbing anything this fine young woman is about to tell us why half the thugs in the United States are on her tail. It has to do with this. We didn't know it, but we've been carrying it around for three days now. A map? What's it to? Don't get any funny notions. The map is mine. Return it, I'll be on my way. Seeing that your map almost cost us our lives, we consider ourselves half owners of it. <sighs> I see your point. But if we're going to do this, we're doing it my way. You drive, I leave. So what are we looking for? That's for me to know and you not to know. Yank, let's just take the thing and find out for ourselves. Go ahead. By the way, do you read medieval Spanish? Uh, looks like we're in this together. Mr. Sly, my confidence in you is waning. You want me to dust him? I will grant you another chance, but there will be a high cost if you fail again. It won't happen again, sir. Good luck, Sly. So, what do you do when you 
we're not chasing around old maps. Mr. Justice, if that is indeed your name, I'm not interested in small talk. What are you interested in? Not you or your machines. So please stifle your pathetic attempts at flirtation. Flirtation? Don't flatter yourself. I'll put it to you straight, miss, whatever your three names were. I like Bigfoot, my team, and freedom, and that about covers it. I don't like trouble. If it weren't for the sizable investment I've already put into your problems, I'd be more than happy to let you thumb your way back to your highfalutin university. Am I making myself clear? On their way. One way to tell how powerful a rig is, they call it a pull contest. You and now, there's a test of strength for Stomper 4x4s, the Stomper official competition pull set, battery not included. A Stomper 4x4 and a match set of counterbalance, ramp, and weight box. Hitch up the truck and turn its motor on. You can put that four-wheel drive to the test and discover just how much power you're playing with. The Stomper official competition pull set comes with everything you see here. From shop. Stomper SSE Super Cycles. Cycles with a speed you power with a quick pull of a ripcord. You can race them with a friend. Or you can set up your own action stunt course, indoors or out. The Stomper SSE Super Cycles are cycles with speed. Stomper SSC Super Cycles, available in six models, each sold separately from Shopper. Hey kids, remember when? This was Star Wars? Probably not. Because I liked that whole series. That was the getting towards the end of the original Marvel run. That's probably in the issue 100 issues. Or at least late 90s. So I'm, I'm a big fan of those characters. Alright. I think it's funny. Bigfoot and the Muscle Machines. Based on Bigfoot, the big monster truck. Uh, the other Muscle Machines. Uh, never quite had the, you know staying power that Bigfoot had because you know Bigfoot's still out there running to this day uh, I don't think the other two are anywhere to be seen so <clears throat> all right we're going to take you back this might be a little more 70s and 80s um, if it is it's early 80s um, Gary Coleman had a cartoon that's right the kid from different strokes had a cartoon where he plays a dead kid that's right, a dead kid. He is the guardian angel. Just when you thought 80s cartoon premises couldn't get any weirder, you got Rubik the Amazing Cube, you got Turbo Teen, and now you got Gary Coleman, the dead kid. Ah, I know, weird. It's the 80s. Um, I, I thought Gary Coleman was a fun cartoon. Uh, really odd cartoon. So, and, and it is voiced by Gary Coleman. So, I hope you guys enjoy this. Like I said, this is a weird one. And uh, I think we'll bring more Gary Coleman back. But I think I'm going to mix that one up. I don't think I'm going to show that one, you know, every week. So, here you guys go. Gary Coleman, the cartoon. <laughs>
There's a ball that's lots of fun. It's nerd basketball with a team or one-on-one. -on -one. It's nerd basketball. Poking, dribbling, all the moves. Inside right for kids to use. It's nerd basketball. You can grip it as you go for a layup or free throw. Sure thing. Try to make it with nerd basketball. Also sold separately, Nerf Hoop, Nerf Ball, and Super Nerf. Nerf Basketball from Parker Brothers. Inside the Stomper 4x4's Wild Mountain set, you'll find two Stomper 4x4's trucks. And when you power them up with batteries you buy separately, the lights go on and four road-grabbing wheels go to work with four-wheel drive. Four-wheel drive means you can climb right over the mountain road park. You can tackle almost any surface, almost any incline, because four-wheel drive means power. Stomper 4x4's Wild Mountain set has everything you see here. Other sets and vehicles sold separately from Shopper. Getting to work early. Ah, gives you a lot more time to play. Uh oh. Uh, hi, Angie. LeBeau, may I ask why you aren't on the job? Uh, well, uh, you don't think I'm enjoying this, do you? Need you ask? I'm working real hard. I'm doing an early morning safety inspection of the playground stuff. It's safe. You aren't. And another thing, Lebeau. Two points. I, on the other hand, only have one point to make. Get to work. Okay, Angie, I'm on my... Oops, I forgot. Uh, time's wasting. Gotta get to work. Lebeau! Someday you'll have recruits of your own to break in. And I hope they're all like you! Mmm, recruits of his own to break in, eh? Little does Angelica know, she's given me a wonderfully wicked idea. And to think I got up early today. Good morning, Mr. LeBeau. Uh, sir? Hornswoggle. Some days it doesn't pay to get up at all. But wait, I know we've had our little differences in the past. Little? Are you kidding? Listen, I've had it with the bad life. I want to make good for all the evil I've caused. I want to straighten out, fly right, earn my wings. I need your help. Ha! <laughs> That's a bit hard to swag a horn swallow. I mean, uh... And I know what you mean, but think how reforming a bad egg like me would impress Angelica. I gotta admit he's got a point there. Okay, it's a deal. I'll show you the ropes, but no tricks. Oh, of course, no tricks. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Now, the first thing you gotta do as a new recruit is keep your eyes open for trouble. Trouble? Uh-huh. Check. Got it. And speaking of trouble, look there. I bet your Mac's just itching to dunk that paint all over poor Hagel. Oh, mercy. How vile. Recruit on Swaggle requesting permission to stop bad deed in progress, sir. Oh, yeah, right on. Go to it. Hey, you weren't supposed to stop this that way. Get that cat off his head. Oh, certainly. Whatever you say. All right. Who did it? Huh? Uh, morning, Mac. The ball. Uh, <laughs> you don't want to do anything I'll be sorry for, do you? Especially in front of a witness. But Andy, my boy, Mac can't see me. <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, I thought we have a real civilized talk about this. <laughs> Yikes! Sounds like it'll be a pretty one-sided conversation. Mr. LeBeau, yoo-hoo, where are you? Is he gone? I must apologize for my awkward handling of that problem. Doing good deeds is new to me. Well, okay, but let's try to be more careful. Oh, I will. I will. 
<laughs> What's that? Sounds like Bartholomew is helping Lydia. Better check it out. Lydia, here's the ice for your party. Thank you, Bartholomew, dear. Put it in the shade, will you? Hmm? What you up to, Bartholomew? Oh, hi, Andy. I'm helping Lydia get ready for a garden party. Mm, look at all the goodies. Sure wish I was going. So do I. What? You mean you're doing all the work and Lydia didn't invite you? Well, uh, uh, I guess so, yeah. Oh, Bartholomew, as soon as you finish chatting, we will have all the chairs to set up. Did she say we? Sure, right away, Lydia. Lemonade from the kitchen, please. Sometimes Lydia really takes advantage of him. I think Bartholomew could use a little help. Oh, let me do it. I'll do it. <laughs> oh, silly me. I just got carried away. Not to mention Lydia. Oh, no, Lydia. What happened? <laughs> And just look at my exclusive designer dress. I don't uh, suppose it's drip dry. How dare you suggest such a thing? Yeah, I didn't think so. Sorry, sorry. My fault entirely. Here's a towel. Give me that! Oh, that does it! Oh. You can come out now. She's gone. Oh, go away. I had less trouble when you were bad. Give me one more chance, please. Pretty, please. Now I know what Angelica goes through. I know I can make good. Honest. Why me? Why me? <laughs> if my calculations are correct, this device should accurately record the alterations in atmospheric pressure. Could you say that again in English? As I said, it'll tell us what weather to expect. Now, if we only had some wind to carry it higher aloft... Hear that? It's good deed time. Whip up a little breeze for Spence. A breeze? I should be able to handle that. Yay! Hey, not bad. That might be hope for you yet. Andy! Hi, sugar. What's happening, guys? I'm doing a barometer reading, Andy. Thanks to this calm, even breeze, I can tell we're in for beautiful weather. You're in for more weather than you'll believe, kiddo. <laughs> appear to be some error in my forecast. Yeah, and the error's name is Hornswoggle. If that's your idea of a breeze, I'm glad I didn't ask you for wind. Knock it off! Mm, sorry. I can only start storms, not stop them. Why don't you show me how? But they'll see me. Tisk, tisk. What a darn shame. So that's it. I should have known. May I have your halo? Soon you won't have any use for it. And I'd like to start a collection. You want my halo? Try and catch. <laughs> Yikes! What a mess! True, but it does afford protection from the elements. Now I'll show you how it's done. Hey, 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 nice going, teacher. Couldn't have done it better myself. Shucks, I knew I should have spent more time on that chapter. Well, no time like the present. Got it. Let's see, levitating, disappearing, walking through walls. Ah, here it is. Storm stopping made easy. <laughs> Sometimes, big brother, I wished you liked simple things. 
baseball, tap dancing. I must admit, I'm rather puzzled by the turn of events. After we practiced on this simple stuff, LeBeau, I'll give you some tests on floods, typhoons, and hurricanes. <laughs> okay, let's see now. One spin to the left. Half a turn to the right. And one big jump backwards. And bingo! Sloppy, with a sloppy. You forgot this whole patch of storm. I didn't forget. I saved it just for you. Fun by eyes. Hey, the storm's over. I shall have to check out this mechanism. Wanna join us for lunch, Cupcake? Thanks, but I gotta go take care of something. Yes, LeBeau? Here, Angelica, these are all for you. Okay, LeBeau, out with it. Now, what have you done? Nothing. Just wanted to tell you I know what you go through with me. Really? You do? Good, LeBeau. With that kind of attitude, it won't be long before you're training recruits of your own. Well, I hope not. Once, there was this wagon load of blueberries. This gave Bill an idea. Blueberry flavor in the Waffleos. New blueberry flavor Waffleos cereal. A good part of this nutritious breakfast. They're new. Yeah! Now you can get a Waffleos iron-on patch. One free inside specially marked packs of blueberry flavor Waffalo cereal. Three different patches. Waffalo Bill, horse, or both together. One patch per package. Out they go to spend their dough without their common sense. They're the dough nuts. Gordon Graham Gantz specialized in true romance, and he tried at every chance to make it clear. He was suave, debonair. He used oil on his hair. As for girls, well, they thought Gordon Gantz was weird. Gordon thought he'd be just like those actors on TV if he used all the products that they sold. With manly muscles, skin so tan, happy hair, and cologne for man, he dreamed the girls would lose their self-control. Well, it hasn't worked so far, though he buys things by the carload. Tubes and bottles, jars and boxes, there he goes. Because he He's sure someday he'll pick just the thing to do the trick, and overnight he'll change to instant Romeo. There's a model to be heeded. Do you really, really need it? Will all your dreams come true if you just try it? Sometimes changing from within is the best place to begin. Think of Gordon Graham Gantz before you buy it. Glasses from Angel Surplus are super. Hmm, that's the gang. I wonder what they're doing. And there's Mrs. Trendle. Looks like something's up. One thing that's up is you, LeBeau. Why aren't you down in Oakville? I was just looking for trouble, Angie. Hmm, so what else is new? May I suggest you go looking for trouble in person? You got it. Hmm, that's what I'm afraid of. More cookies, everybody. I hope everybody includes me. Oh boy, these are good. Yeah, they're great. Thanks. Ah, <sighs> cookies, here I come. Oh, hi, Andy. What brings you here? The heavenly scent of Mrs. Trindle's cookies. What else? Don't be shy. Have some more. I'm trying real hard not to be shy. Why, Mrs. Trendle, is something the matter? Oh, it's... it's nothing. We want to help. Please tell us. Come on, out with it. Well, all right. I just bought this beautiful little dream house in the country, and now I don't have enough money to pay for moving expenses. Is that all? I can pay your moving expenses out of my allowance. Yeah, she's loaded. Oh, no, I wouldn't accept charity. Nothing to it. I'll just levitate all the stuff to the new house. No, you won't, LeBeau. How would you explain tables and chairs and dishes flying over Oakville? 
Uh, well, we could say it was a freak wind. I think I've just been shot down. I got it! Let's move Mrs. Trindle ourselves! Why didn't you think of that, Mr. Guardian Angel? Uh, well, I was, uh, see, it was like this, yeah, yeah. He took the words right out of my mouth! Gee, Mrs. Trindle, I didn't know your building was so, uh... Oh? No, tall! Uh, Lydia, what floor is Mrs. Trindle's apartment on? The very top, what I like to refer to as the penthouse. That's what I was afraid you were going to say. Hmm, what motivated the appearance of that moving truck? Yeah, and besides that, where'd he come from? He came from my allowance, silly. But Mrs. Trindle said... Do we wait for a high wind to carry the furniture? See, Angie? Someone else thought of it, too. <laughs> well, if it isn't the little do-gooder. Morning, Swaggle. You're the moving man. You guessed it, kiddo, and I'm going to make sure this is a very moving experience for you. I didn't have to look for trouble. It came to me. Hmm. At what point should we commence? How about the piano? This object appears quite substantial. Let's find out. The mass equals half the square of the total weight times the gravitational pull. Well, what does all that mean? The piano is heavy. In that case, let's share the work. You take the piano, and I'll take the stool. <laughs> Yo! Yo! I should have taken the piano! Maintain a firm grasp? If you mean to hang on, I'm with you! If you think I'm gonna let you make trouble for the kids, <laughs> it would appear the kids are doing my job for me. Yipes! Yes, you might say that. Not exactly the kind of moving job I had in mind. Gee, I didn't know you were that strong. Actually, I'm not. Oh, I do love canaries. They're so golden. <laughs> Bye, my birdie. Oh, heavens! Help! Mrs. Trindle's canary is loose! Yeah, and I'll bet I know the buzzard who's responsible. Good time to practice a little mental control. I wonder how I'll make out with a bird brain. Well, at least you're evenly matched. Sorry, LeBeau. Couldn't resist that straight line. Speaking of straight lines, watch this. Oh, what will I tell Mrs. Trendle? Maybe I could buy her a pet shop. Save your money, Lydia. In you go. However did you catch it, Andy? Ah, uh, it was nothing. I know how to handle things with wings. Gee, look at all this heavy stuff. We still gotta move. We may have overestimated our physical capabilities. Yeah, and we bit off more than we can chew besides. Speaking of chewing, why don't we take a luncheon break? My treat, of course. Yes, maybe some nourishment will revive us. I sure hope so, or we're really gonna let Mrs. Trindle down. Uh, I'll stick around and keep an eye on things. Looks like your friends are chickening out. They'll never finish. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we'll be back. But I'm gonna move all this stuff before they get back. 
Impossible, especially with me around to stop you. Well, watch this. Having a bit of trouble, are we? <laughs> hmm, must be a short circuit in my halo. Ha! Ah, I don't even have to do anything. You do-gooders are all weaklings. I suppose you could do better. With one ear tied behind my back. Watch. Okay, so you got it off the floor. Let's see you move it. Nothing to it for one with my talent. Satisfied, puny one? Well, it was all right. One little piano. No, that's mere child's play. Observe. Two at a time. I could do this all day. Wow. Gee, you think I could learn how to do that? Typical. If you want a job done right, you have to do it yourself. Scratch, too! Years of practice, do-gooder. Years of practice. There. A job well done. Uh, not quite. I still gotta load it all in the truck. You? At that rate, we'd be here till next week. I'll handle it. There! Completed in record time. Hey, look! Everything's loaded! Why, thank you so much, Andy. But how? Don't thank me. Thank him. Golly, thanks, mister. Yeah, thanks a lot. Thank you. Oh, gee, it was nothing. And I never could have moved here without all your help. Thank you all. You're welcome. You're welcome. See? You do-gooders would never have gotten that job done without me. Right, Hornswoggle? You didn't do bad at all. Bad? I didn't do bad. Mm, that's right. Wait a minute. What? I've been Hornswoggled. How embarrassing. Outmaneuvered by that doggone do-gooder. One of these days I'll make the right move. Then I'll hornswoggle the world! Well, LeBeau, I see Mrs. Trindle is moved in. Yep, and hornswoggle is sure put out. Here's real turboprop aerial action. Here's Tonka's Hand Command turboprop. You can put an action figure aboard, spin the props, retract the wheels, climb, zoom, and dive. You can pretend to fly anywhere. Action figure not included. Hand Command Turboprop Toy Plane. From Tonka. This boy is losing oh. his grip. Oh. Why did he lose his grip so soon? Oh, he didn't fuel up with a good breakfast. Cheerio! Mmm, like this good, nutritious breakfast with toast, juice, milk, and yummy Cheerios, which has almost no sugar. When you fuel up in the morning with a Cheerios breakfast, it'll really get you going. Hey! It's the great tasting bubble yum sweepstakes. Millions will enter to win the grand prize weekend for four at any Six Flags Park. A Thousands of other great prizes. To enter, send two wrappers or the words Bubble Yum Bubble Gum to Box 2705, Westbury, New York, 11591.
All right. I hope you guys enjoyed Gary Coleman. Like I said, it's it's a weird concept. A lot of kids, you know what? No toy line, nothing like that. They're just a Gary Coleman cartoon. Because, you know, you were already watching different strokes. You might as well watch the Gary Coleman cartoon. So, all right. Now, I'm going to bring you a cartoon a lot of people hadn't heard of. But I think is wrongfully forgotten. Everybody remembers Thundercats. You know, you had lion -O and Chitara and, and Mumra. And, you know, you also had the, the Silverhawks. You had Quicksilver and Steelheart and Steel Will. You had Monstar and Yes Man and Hardware. You had all these characters. You know there was a third series that was kind of lost? It was part of a little cart comic book. Ugh, comic book. I'm sorry, reading comic books and I get mixed up. All right, it's part of a cartoon show called the Comic Strip, which was little again, again, short, ten minute episodes. You had the Street Frogs. You had uh, Camp Mon, which you was little monster kids, and the other one was Tiger Sharks. Yes, the Tiger Sharks. Um, you, you had Mako, the good guy, you had T-Ray, the bad guy, uh, you had these people who would transform into, like, water-based heroes, and they would, you know, on a, on a water-based planet and fight, you know, crime and, and whatnot. And the thing is, though, is, this is the, what was great, <clears throat> is in the 2000s, Thundercats cartoon... There's actually an episode where you see the tiger sharks because they were trying to bring all that back. They were trying to bring back silver hawks. They were trying to bring back thundercats and eventually they're going to bring back the tiger sharks. Um, it's in the episode where you find out the history of uh, Mumra and Lino's dad. Um, it also introduces, if you look, there's screens behind everything and Monstar appears. So from silver hawks. So... I want you guys to enjoy, it. and then again, I'm going to air two of the segments, because it was two, you know, very short episodes. I believe they're only like 10 minutes long, so I'll air two of those in the spot where I normally air one cartoon. Uh, this, like I said, yet again, this is another cartoon I will burn through very fast. So I might just air all of uh, Robotics and Mon uh, Bigfoot and Monster Machines and all the Tiger Sharks just all in a row, just air them so you guys can enjoy them so i want you guys to enjoy the tiger sharks i like this cartoon i hate that it's forgotten i really do think that this is a, is a shame uh the toy line was was criminally underproduced because it just didn't sell and people didn't catch on to it right away the only reason i found tiger sharks was legitimately I think I got up early on one Sunday morning and that's how I found the comic strip because comic strip was one of them syndicated shows that was both on Saturday and Sunday mornings. Um, I found it by pure accident and I was hooked. Um, so I can't say enough of this. I'm just going to let it speak for itself. Here you guys enjoy this week's episode of the Tiger Sharks. <laughs> Got a tiger by the tail. Hold on, tiger shark, tiger shark. The first ship with a sail. And hold on, tiger shark, tiger shark. To the planet Watero. Are you sure this is a good idea, T-Ray? You got a better one, Walleye? Our own planet's dried up. From now on, Watero will be our base. There, take it down over that icy part. They almost look like they're alive. Alive, huh? Well, blast them with the heat rays just to be sure. Get us out of here! 
here, T-Ray! Immediately, this is an emergency. You are entering a classified area of Tiger Shark's intergalactic underwater salvage. To avoid the alarm system, please identify yourself by voice print. I'm Big Julie from Jupiter. Okay, okay, hold it. It's only me. Just kidding around. Sark, it's Tiger Shark Dolph. Identity confirmed. You may enter the Sark. Up here, old tricks again with Sark? Huh, Dolph? Oh, just for a laugh. Say, Mako, how's Lorca doing up there on Watero? Having a tough time. We're expecting his latest report any moment. There's a 12-hour delay. It was a dumb idea sending him up there to salvage that spaceship alone. I don't know why I agreed to it. He does have those Watarians to help him, Waro. I just hope they're all he needs, Angel. They better be. There's two tons of X-400 on that ship. And if that X-400 ever gets into the wrong hands, it's enough to knock Earth clear out of orbit. I don't even want to think about it. Pretty good picture of Watero, eh? Does the Sark have a complete analysis yet, Captain? You heard the man, Sark. What have you got so far? The planet Watero, 90% ocean. Inhabitants can exist and breathe above or below the water. Yeah, Imagine if we could do that. I have. Hold it, Sark. Look into Tiger Sharks. I think I've located the X-400. I'm moving out of the bubble to take a closer look. What's happening up there? Tiger Sharks! Mayday! 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 Prepare for an emergency takeoff, Zark. We can blast off in four minutes, 12 seconds. That gives us just enough time. What? Come with me, quickly. Stay down there for the moment. What have you been up to? What is all this? I'll explain. Now, for years, I've dreamed about existing, living, working underwater for long periods of time without bulky equipment. And one day, I came upon the answer. A way for man to breathe underwater. <laughs> like a fish, huh? Exactly. And that's how I came to invent this. The fish tank. The professor, he's turned into a walrus. Incredible. <laughs> Come on in, Tiger Sharks. The water's fine. <laughs> Here goes nothing. I, I don't believe it. I look like a, <laughs> a shark. And you, Dolph. Unbelievable! And me, I'm a dolphin! We're almost fish! All of us! Octavia, Frog, Angel! And hold your questions later! Come with me! Follow! I assume you figured out a way back to our normal bodies? You have, Walro, haven't you? <laughs> of course, Brock. But we must always go back to the way we came. This is the only way back to our regular bodies. We are clearing Earth's atmosphere. Deploying solar 
same. I ask you for the last time. What are you doing here on Watero? Did I say again? I am Lorca from Intergalactic Salvage. And that's all you're going to get. You're not a fish, you know. One pull, and you wouldn't last two minutes at this depth. Capitan Bizarre here. Come to thank you for freeing me from my icy vacation. Won't you join me aboard for a friendly chat? Whoever you are. Won't you join me aboard for a friendly chat? I wonder. We accept, Captain. In friendship. <laughs> I'll be waiting for you. When you see them, Dragonstein. Incinerated! <laughs> We can trust him after all. <laughs> He's one of us. <laughs> it seems we are both on the same side, Captain Bizarre. We have the same cause. And what cause is that, fish man? Why, evil, of course. What other cause is there? <laughs> We are over Lorca's last known position. Look, there. Two ships of a sort. Let's land and investigate. They're diving. We better get under and see what they're up to. Walro, if the Sark is destroyed, then we're... Yes, Michael. We'll be like this forever. Well, let's make sure that doesn't happen, eh? Dog, those look deadly. I'll take the first one. Out of air. Must get surface. Dolphins need air, Mako. Dogs in trouble. Quick! Thanks, Tiger Sharks. I needed that. Look, the last one. We'll never catch up with it. Oh, no. <laughs> Just hang on. Stand by, Sark. Release steel net. Sark, reverse electric field. Board. Collect your fish and follow us. This may come as a surprise, but I can use you. Today, nothing would surprise me. 
He'll work for us, Dragon Style, if we let him think we're working for him. <laughs> hey, my pet. Angel and me are gonna follow that weird ship, see where it's headed. Just make sure you stay well back and keep in touch all the way. Yeah, these guys play rough. Meanwhile, let's contact the Watarians. Maybe they can help us locate Lorca. I am called Papa Gallo. My name form is Hydra. And I am known as Gobi. We are the ruling council of Watero, and we welcome you. We hope you can help us in our search for another of our kind, a tiger shark named Lorca. I'm afraid he may be in dire trouble. We had a report of an invasion by unfriendly Mantanas in that region. Who are these Mantanas? Where do they come from? We do not know them, only that they have freed two of our most feared enemies, Captain Bizarrely and the terrible Dragonstein. For many years, we Wactarians lived in peace and safety because our ancestors froze all of our enemies into the ice of a place called Siberia. Bazali and these newcomers are working together. It could mean the end of Watero as a place of peace in the galaxy. They must have gotten in somehow. I think I saw an entrance through that way. No way. Not through that. Well, I'm going to give it a try. Okay, Bronx. If you're a game, so am I. Lead the way. more terrifying than out there. Yeah. Look! Let's contact Mako. I've got a feeling we may have found Lorca. Clever devices you have here, bizarrely. I'm glad you think so. Now, who are you? And what do you want on Watero? I am T-Ray, head fish of the Mantanas. With you above the surface and us below, we could take over this place, get rid of these Watarians, or use them. Uh, you may be right, much as I hate to admit it. I love the water. First thing we have to do is unfreeze the rest of your crew, then find out who this person is, what he was doing here. And who his underwater friends are. I have no friends. I'm here alone. I am Lorca, just an explorer. Call the rest of your school together. We sail for Siberia in an hour. T-Ray to Mantana. I want everyone in Bizarrely's castle on the double. Have Carper and Weakfish bring the sawbill with them now. I've pinpointed their location. All we have to do now is find our way in. Vehicle approaching at one mile and closing from southwest. No, come on. <laughs> What? Wait till Walro sees him. Come on, Gup. Look, coming up on your left. Let's trail him. 
This water's cold, and it's dark, and it's my day off. Too much. I'm getting seasick. I think I'm gonna... Oh, 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 I hate dogs. I'm afraid of dogs. Yeah! They've got Lorca chained. Careful, there's a dragon and a room full of air. I'll take it from here. <laughs> I could use a breather. Lorca is it. Well, I'd like to introduce you to a dear friend, Dragonstein. Incinerate him! <laughs> It's me, Dolph. Cute, huh? What? How? Dragonstein. No time for questions. I'm Dolph. Trust me. Come on. This is all too bizarre. Come on, that won't hold him for long. If I were seeing it with my own eyes, I'd never believe it. I thought for a moment that you weren't coming back with me. I'm sure glad I did. So, this fish tank was your idea, Walro. You're a genius. Oh, uh, only took a few years of tinkering. Oh, Walro, almost forgot. We have a little surprise for you. Gop! Hey, Gop! Well, I'll be fried and filleted. Even Gop? It's hard to believe, Walro. Hey, Lorca hasn't tried it. Yeah, in the fish tank with you. Here to give it a try? Sure, why not? I wonder what he'll be. Go for it, Lorca! It's good to be back, Tiger Sharks. I feel like my old self again. <laughs> Hold on, you've got a tiger by the tail. Next on Tiger Sharks. new power punchers, pocket-sized cars. You can rev them up and pow, pow, power punchers. You can race them and run them, jump them and bump them. A Tonka toy will Tonka jump for fun, fun, fun. A pocket full of fun, power punchers, each sold separately. New from Tonka. Why don't you drive, drive a Tonka? 
an adventure. That's what you get when you drive Tonka trucks like Mud Runner, Roving Wrecker, and Jeep CJ, each sold separately. Trucks so rugged, so powerful, you know they're Tonkas. Someday you'll be driving one of these. Till then, keep driving those Tonkas. Why don't you drive? Mudrunner, Jeep CJ, and Roving Wrecker come with everything shown here, each sold separately from Tonka. Come with me to a place. You'll be glad that you did. Jeffrey. There's so much more, oh, what a store where toys are us kids. It's a magical land, so where else would you go? When everything's a toys are us and prices are low. If it's new and hot, it's a toy they've got. And the prices are hard to beat. Oh, me. You can search the whole world for toys are us kids. Hi. Hey, you know, we talk about criminally underrated stuff. This right here. New Universe. I can't say enough about this stuff. It's done by Mark Texiera before he did uh, freaking uh, brought back Ghost Rider. Um, it, it's more of a, I guess, I don't know, a more down to earth superhero comics um it takes place in a universe that's not the 616 marvel universe so yeah hey check, check this out this is when spider-man fought side by side with captain crunch against the soggies so <laughs> crazy stuff or, or ad for laser tag so i hope you guys enjoyed tiger sharks um, I did, and like I said, I will air as many of these as I can. There's only, I believe, 10 segments, so you're going to get about an hour's worth all together. I might try to expand it out so we get it in three segments. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this week. I really did. Um, I'm happy to keep bringing you guys cartoons. I keep finding stuff that I love that's hard to find, uh, it's more obscure. Um, I will bring some more info on uh, Tiger Sharks and whatnot next week. Um, I, I I think, like I said, I think some of these cartoons are criminally underrated. I think that, that they were forgotten, and I don't want them to be forgotten. Realistically, man, in humanoids, Tiger Sharks, uh, Bigfoot, Robotics, those sectors, none of these should be forgotten, and they are, because people just like, I didn't know sectors even existed. So... I think I'm out for this week. Uh, as always, you don't have to grow. You, you, growing old is mandatory. Growing up is not. And uh, have fun. Like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. All that fun stuff that every other YouTuber tells you to do. Uh, I do. I I just want you guys to hang out, and watch cartoons with me. So I will see you next Saturday for another episode of Saturday Morning Serials. Have a great one. Good morning, good night, whenever you're watching this, take care.